Hi everyone. So firstly, I am Aryan Aruda, and I am a Beta Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador and a Computer Engineering Student at Delhi Technological University, India. I am also an open source developer who has been contributing particularly to Power Platform since the last 1.5 years. And today I'll be giving a demo on integrating Power Apps with Azure Machine Learning and OpenAI using Power Automate. So first is introduction. So in this demo, uh, I'll show you how you can uh, build a health expense planner Power App to track your health expenses. So it is basically an app that is a powerful tool that can help you stay on top of your health expenses and save money. Uh, this sample basically allows the users to predict their health expenses using a machine learning model and then get a detailed personalized plan to save funds for it. OK, so moving on to the features. So the sample uh, basically takes different parameters like the age, sex, BMI, number of children and whether they are a smoker or not. It uses a custom built Azure AutoML model integrated to Power Apps using Power Automate Flow. And then it provides a customized plan to save for the health expenses based on the inputs and the result of the Azure model. And it uses OpenAI's API to create that plan. So moving on to the solution components. So it basically comprises, comprises the Canvas app, which is the health expense app. Then the other, other component is the Azure AutoML flow, which is the Power Automate flow that links the Canvas app to the, uh, to the Azure Auto, AutoML model. And thirdly, the, the model itself for making predictions. So this is how the app looks. The interface is kind of simple. And uh, give me a second. OK, so basically, first we provide all of our details like age, sex, PMI, children, and smoker, yes or no. And once these parameters are provided, the expenses are predicted using these parameters and are provided here. And based on these details, a health plan is created, which we will look into later on. So this is the Power Automate flow, which basically is basically called in the Power App by pressing a button. Then it sends an HTTP request to the um, AutoML endpoint. And then once we get the response back, we pass that JSON query to, uh, to basically pass it back to the Power App so that we can use it. Then this is the snapshot of the data set that I used to build the model. So like these are the various parameters and the link to the data set. And I did not use the region parameters that was not particularly relevant for this use case. And this is the, uh, the AutoML model. So uh, it's basically the, the deployed endpoint. So this is the input that we pass to the endpoint, and this is the result that we get. So it's a float number representing the expenses in USG. So what do we need to uh, set up the Power App? So firstly, we need to get an API key from OpenAI. Then we need to have an account for Power Apps and Power Automate. Also, you need to have an active account in Azure, and you need to have deployed an Azure AutoML model so that you can get an endpoint for predictions. So moving on to the data sources. So the Power App basically includes the OpenAI connector. So we can add that connector to the Power App and then use it in the following way. And also it includes the Power Automate flow, which is basically the flow that uh, basically uh, is called upon when the button is pressed. And after that, it sends an HTTP request to the a model endpoint and then gets the input, passes a JSON, and that output is then passed back to the Power App to be used and shown in the app. So how the screens will look out, like the results. So for example, uh, I provide these parameters to the Power App. Based on that, it predicts the expenses and it creates a plan. So it suggests like creating an emergency plan and having a health insurance. So in these things, or one thing is, is to be observed that these parameters indicate that you have to uh, create a plan that that requires you urgent planning. On the other hand, if you take an input of a person who is more healthier and younger, so in that case, the expenses are reduced, and at the same time, the plan takes into account the fact that you are younger, so you can 
uh, basically create a fund slowly by contributing a thousand dollars per month and various factors. So now we're moving back to the demo. This is the Power App where we have basically all the elements uh, like like the text boxes and the input parameters. And the main thing is the predict button where basically we call uh, the auto ML flow and the and the open AIS connector. So we need to first ensure that we've added the connector in the data sources and also going to the flows. We need to add the flow here as well. So I'll just show you flow as well. So basically it takes the endpoint URL and it sends a post request and then it gets it basically you have to provide the input uh, parameters in the queries and once that is done we can get the response back and this is a response schema and finally we can use that in the power apps. So moving on to the uh, part so we can like add the we can call the flow from here directly by uh, by calling it and passing it the parameters. And for the OpenAI connector, uh, the main thing is to use the correct model and also to provide a prompt. So in this prompt, we provide the various things like, uh, the, like the whole input is provided in a textual manner so that the model can understand. And then also the result of like the funds that were that are required. So we add that as well. Here I applied various techniques of prompt engineering by basically phrasing the, qu the query in different ways so that the OpenAI model is able to correctly take the input parameters and based on that create a correct and accurate plan and also did some parameter tuning where I modified some of the values for temperature and frequency penalty to make the response both uh, sound more human-like and also accurate and brief as well. So let's see it in action. So for example, we say age 50, say male, let's say BMI is 31, children, let's say one, and we give the parameters. Then we call the predict button. So it gets the response back from the prediction model. And then this is passed further to the OpenAI's text completion model. Yeah, so we get the response back. And here it's, it's kind of in between because it's some kind of a middle age group. So you also have to like uh, create an emergency fund, but you can also plan your health savings. Part of the project, we will be using the Power Apps new feature of AI Builder that allows us to add an AI model to our Power Apps without uh, use without having the need to use a connector or a or a or a flow to create the, to, to use it so what we will be doing is that we will be going to the more section and we'll be going to ai models on power apps which is basically created using the ai builder so we can click on new ai model and for this uh, demo what we will be doing is that we'll be adding the feature of of basically getting processing the prescription and from there we can uh, read all the text and extract it and and use that information further so we will be using this extract all text pre-built model which basically allows the model to have uh, to read the characters on other text and it can even read handwritings so we can test it out first by uploading the image and we can add a prescription here which is a handwritten one so we can see that all the text is analyzed and is extracted out of the prescription, even all the all the, the hand, all handwritten text as well. So we're using this pre-built model in the in our in the existing Power App. So as you can see, we can go to the Power App and add a new screen on it. Once we have added a new screen, we can go to the new inputs and scroll down and see AI Builder, which allows us to add our own uh, add add basically AI models to our application. So we can go on and select text recognizer here, which is the one we'll be using. So once that is added, we can place it in the power app. And after adding it, we can then also add a text label that shows us the selected output. So we can have that here as well. 
Okay, so once that is added, what we can do is that we can have it store the uh, store the selected text. So we can take the name, which is text recognizer three, and we can add it in the function with dot selected so that we can show the selected text and select text here. So once we have done, we are we are all ready to use this feature in the Power App. So let's preview it. So now we have an option to upload the image. So we can upload a prescription here. So once the prescription is uploaded, it will be analyzed through the model and all the objects will be detected and we can see them. Now we can click on any of the selected text and we can see uh, all the values and allow us to read different details and we can also add a further translation here so that we can translate this text into different languages making it easy for the for anyone to read a prescription and understand the details later on as well and that's basically about the demo other than that this is the uh, this is the azure auto ml model which we can create using the machine uh, azure machine learning studio and we can go to automated ml and create the model and once that is done we can deploy the best model that is present and we can use those endpoints in the power app to directly link it and this is open ai which we can use to get our api keys and get started with the with basically the building process and that's that's all from my side